Happy Wednesday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit, and surprise, it's two videos today. I did a tutorial earlier for um for my scrunchies, so that one has been up um uploaded for a couple hours now. I got up this morning. I got up early, and I went to the gym, and I did water aerobics, which I call Aqua Extreme, and I'm not sure how extreme it is unless. You're considering the, the idea of me actually getting up and exercising is kind of extreme. But I had a good time. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep going to the class. I can, the way my schedule is now, I can go to it on Mondays, or I mean on Wednesdays and Saturdays. They have it Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. But I'll do it Monday and Saturday. But I figured out that I've got four days a week I go to the gym. And so I've got... Two of those days, I can do the Aqua Extreme Water Aerobics class. Then I'm actually going to, you know, man up and do the Aqua Zumba class. I figure it's four and a half feet of water. I can't drown myself. So, um, do that. And then on Sunday, I believe it is, they have a yoga class. And I figure between the mindfulness, you know, which is good for stretching my mind, and then I can actually work on strengthening and stretching my body. So those will be what I'm doing for the foreseeable future. That's what I'm going to be doing at the gym. Instead of going in and lifting free weights and getting on the treadmill and just, um, you know, battling with ellipticals and whatnot, I'm just going to, I'll do the classes because it'll keep me from doing too much. It'll keep me motivated knowing that I'm actually doing it with other people. Plus it forces me to socialize a little bit. So, um, but I am still enjoying going to the gym and even if I do have to wake up early in the morning. But, you know, I'm trying to reset my schedule because I usually get up around, my lights turn on around 9. Or they turn on at 9 and then usually sometime between 9 and 9.30 I'm usually getting up. So I'm trying to, I'm going to work on moving that to where I'm actually, my lights are turning on at 8. So get up around 8 to 8.30. So try to get to closer to a normal, like what, not what everyone else has to sleep schedule, but a, a one that makes it to where I'm not losing the first, you know, half of the morning just from getting up and getting the cats fed and getting myself dressed and whatnot. So that was my, my field trip for the day. And I got home and I had in the mail, come, this is the lip balm crafting kit. This is the tray. Is this the same tray that I already had, but it also, it came with the, was, I had to get more tubes, and um, it was just as cheap to buy it with the tray and, and the tubes than it was just to buy the tubes on their own. So I had that, plus I ordered, um, they are labels for the lip balm. Now the, the kit comes with some that you can print out, um, my printer right now needs new ink, and so that'll probably happen next week um, but these I can it, you know I can just hand right in what they are and I made more lip balms the other lip balms that I had I took to uh, my DBT class and gave them to one of the therapists you know, I offered with people in the class and then gave to the therapist so that she could give to clients and you know treatment team people and whatnot you know may as well and because I also knew I was ordering some more so I have those, so um, I am selling them for $2.50 $2 a tube, so if you want one, just let me know. Um, and I've got some that I've got to mail out tomorrow, so I'll go to the post office on my way to therapy. And then I got a big box of yarn. This is my um, yarn that I want, because I want to make... Sabrina has the melody cardi that she designed, and so I'm going to make it. So I bought yarn, and this was three. What does it say? It was. Doo, 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 doo. Where did it go? Three dollars and sixty nine cents a bundle for a bag of three. So I bought twelve of them, and it's it's 100 percent acrylic, and it is you know medium four. Yeah, this was the brand. Oh, it's just yarn essentials. But I mean it's it's really it's softer than, you know, 
I probably would have really expected for yarn that cheap. Um, but yeah, it's 128 grams or 268 yards in a skein. And you use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, or which would be a USI 9. So, that, but it is um, machine wash warm and, not, and tumble dry low. So, I bought 12 of those. So, I've got, should have, should have enough, um, you know, I think that's a little bit more than what Sabrina had told me to order to, um, to make the cardigan so we have that and then remove this real quick because the yarn that I have it oh have it over there that I bought yesterday that's for a specific project I it's a mini C to C or corner you know the mini quarter to corner and I looked for tutorials on YouTube and the one that I found for left-handed ones a couple that were real quick ones I wasn't sure about, but the, the decent one that was mini one, it I just it wasn't clicking and I wasn't getting it. And so I was like, okay, fine, I'm just gonna go learn regular, you know, like I understood the concept, but it just it wasn't working out in what I was doing. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll just go learn regular C to C. Maybe maybe there'll be someone else that has a different that you know can explain it. And I think it actually ended up being it's the same channel that did just a regular left-handed, you know, corner to corner, but it made sense. Look what, I've got a hook hanging from it. Look, I'm actually doing it. So I figure I've got two skeins of this. This was the freebie yarn I got when I would, took a class at Joann's. So I figure I'll use all, it, I will increase on one skein and then when I get finished this um, finish that one skein then I will decrease with the second one so that way I can have a blanket of whatever size comes out I mean I'm just practicing with it and this is I'm not the biggest fan of pink but you know I'm, it's neat I'm learning something new I'm liking it so and anyway tomorrow is Thursday so that's therapy so no gym tomorrow um it's supposed to snow tonight I haven't checked my weather recently but um from what I understand is it supposed to we got a storm it's supposed to be coming in so I will check with the therapist um obviously before I go to the therapy if, if the weather looks bad and if it's just cold, but the weather looks fine and they're open, then I will go. And if it's if it's too cold, Little Miss will stay here. Other than that, you know, it'll be therapy tomorrow. Um, and then working on the corner-to-corner -corner blanket. I talked to Drew and Candace, and we're meeting Saturday for our little um, Saturday group get-together. And I don't know if I'm going to meet do the Sunday one this weekend or not. Um, but Friday I'm back at the gym for, I think that's, that's the water Zumba day. That's the day that I probably will come as close to drowning as I'm going to because yeah, I'm not coordinated. So yeah, this week is, I'm, I'm starting to get, I'm back at home. I'm settling back into new routine at home. That's a healthier routine. I'm not as sore as I was last week so you know i think everything's we're doing good i am i cooked dinner you know so i have all my meals for the week for or my dinners for the week and then i cooked breakfast i ate a light lunch i'm actually eating i'm doing good so now if i can just get my brain soup to level out so that maybe i'm not so beige all the time and i could actually get to a point where i could get back to work but for the time being this is progress, so, and I'm better off than I was a month ago. So anyway, I'm glad I got to check in with you guys twice today, and I will see you guys tomorrow.